guard against humanity's extinction. We are the last out. Burning heart of the sky, hear my wailing. In hours of darkness we beg for your light. In ages of horrors we beg for still hearts. In years of slaughter, come, bleed our foes. And when we shall die, please save our souls. <sighs> oh, bountiful Dabo, aid us with your might. As we are in great need, for the challenges upon us are good.
It was a simple perimeter scan, escorting resources. But we were ambushed by Kalan Raiders. The fighters were no problem, but the missile frigates were a different story. The command got clever. One wing used cover to keep themselves safe on approach. While another group found a tunnel in the structure to sneak behind them. We're on the run, top with the range. Get you up. Let's do this. It worked. But just before a carrier battle group arrived, we scrambled bombers. Sector confirmed. Scanning zone adjusted. Perfect for attacking capital ships. This is bomber lead. We protected the resources while they hauled in the goods, which meant we could roll out assault frigates. Cleared hot. Let's take it to them. Stay on them. Break contact. The Raiders weren't pushovers, but command countered their hit-and-run tactics. The way their carrier exploded? Beautiful. And we even grabbed a little souvenir. That missile frigate is ours now. Hi, I'm John, and today we're going to be taking a first look at Company of Heroes 3 being played on console. Controller support for Coke 3 has been built from the ground up, our UI has been completely redesigned, and new features such as tactical pause all make playing Company of Heroes 3 on console a real treat. So let's just jump right into it. Combat engineers, quit lagging behind. This is the start of the Salerno mission from our Italian Dynamic campaign. Playing as the U.S. forces, we begin an assault on a well-defended strategic point that needs to be captured. We've done the devil crown! Hot as nails, engineers! Incoming order! Rounds on your feet! Let's go! Attacking from two directions needs precision, but it will split the enemy's focus and weaken their defensive positioning. Let's go kill us some goose steppers! We can't stay here for Come on! Using the new radial command menu, we deploy raiding flares in the fog of war to get increased line of sight and scout out any unseen enemies. Tactical pause is an exciting new feature that we think console players will love. You can pause the action and queue up any number of commands, then unpause to watch your plan unfold in real time. Another quick use of tactical pause will help us deal with that dangerous mortar and secure the objective. Here we are, a little further in the mission, looking to secure the hospital and the surrounding square. We've softened up the counterattack with armored support. Now it's time to finish off the stragglers with a grenade. Fast forward, and after some hard fighting, Salerno is almost secured. Engineers just need to blow the final bridge into the city to prevent a counterattack. Demo charge planted. Now is a good time to leave, huh? These unsuspecting enemy pioneers could be in for a tough time. Yep, definitely at the wrong place at the wrong time. That one that got away is thanking his lucky stars.
Command. Storm is in your way. Prepare for extraction. Signal's breaking up. Command, I'll do one last scan. See you soon. Over. Okay, hurry. Command, I may be on to something. I have it, Command. Repeat, I have it. Mission accomplished. We gotta move. Now. There's a storm coming. And hell's coming with it. Only matched by the resources and secrets it holds. Of these resources, none is more precious and coveted than the spice. But whatever you hope you'll find here, you cannot be prepared for what's waiting for you. First, you'll need to survive. Then, try to understand the land. Rally local villages or force them into submission. Use them as outposts to develop your infrastructure. And set up the vital spice harvesting process. Then build a solid foothold to start your conquest. You will have to fight to defend what you have and take what you need. Or rely on your cunning to achieve your goals through the arts of subterfuge, politics, or diplomacy. Arrakis is mine. But no matter who you conquer, manipulate, or destroy, you will never truly control Do. In this video, I'd like to introduce you to some of the core mechanics of the game, including regional development, trade, and military recruitment. We need more workers here. 
The map in Manor Lords is divided into regions. Each region has its own resources, as well as a development tree. When you upgrade the residential buildings in the region, you get development points, which you can spend to unlock new development branches. This means that different regions may specialize in different things. Some may be more optimized for farming, some for mining, and some will process the resources to make expensive goods, like shoes or clothing. Depending on the optimization of your production chains, the price of the goods will change, affecting the market attractiveness. Free merchants will travel more frequently to towns that have rare and more affordable goods. These merchants are the only way to get wealth in the game. Lord's treasury, however, is split from the regional wealth. As the lord or lady, you must tax your towns and villages in order to get money for your personal endeavors. There are different taxes giving various benefits. For example, the tithe goes straight to the church, but in return, the church gives you influence. Every so often, the king gives out valuable rewards to the most influential lords on the map, including new territories. You can compliment or insult other lords via the diplomacy system to affect their influence. The recruitment system in Manor Lords has been redesigned after some community feedback. It is now divided into three unit categories. First type of recruits are the peasant militia. You can call to arms the peasants from your villages. They grab whatever improvised weapons they have and join the fight. This will hit your economy and you'll need at least a couple of villages to form an army. If you want better militia, you must train them at the training camp or the archery range. The second type of recruits are mercenaries. They cost silver and a lot of it. The last type is Lord's Retinue. This is a limited, heavily armored unit that you can customize to your liking.
capital puts you in the challenging role of taking command of a frontline field hospital located in northern France during the Great War. There are no clear-cut right or wrong decisions when it comes to maintaining morale or holding the front line. An equally fierce battle is being fought behind the front. The battle to save lives. War Hospital focuses on the constant fight to save the wounded. Chemical warfare, bullets, shells and finally mental trauma will all become a part of the struggle for life on the battlefield. The constant pressure of time in the face of a shortage of resources and manpower will bring the morality of the greater good into question. Is the life of a single person worth risking the entire hospital's population for? How far will you go to keep the next patient alive? Every decision has both short and long-term consequences. Face them, learn from your mistakes and improve your hospital. Find a solution to every problem. Adapt on the go to maintain morale and prevent the collapse of the front line which constantly needs to be strengthened. New types of wounds require the use of newer and newer medical technologies. New infrastructures or having to use more drastic treatment methods when you are dealing with the most seriously injured soldiers. You have the fate of many lives in your hands. The war hospital must carry on at all costs.